In a world saturated with information and constant stimuli, capturing and maintaining people's attention has become a significant challenge. However, psychology offers us a toolbox full of tricks and techniques that can be used to positively influence perception, behavior, and decisions. These tricks, based on solid psychological principles, allow us not only to communicate more effectively, but also to build richer and more meaningful relationships. From the importance of a genuine smile to the power of anticipation, each trick reveals a fascinating aspect of the human mind and offers valuable insights into how we can better connect with each other by applying these principles ethically and consciously. It is possible not only to achieve specific goals, but also to promote an environment of understanding, cooperation, and mutual well-being. This guide explores 18 of these psychological tricks, detailing how each one works and how it can be applied in everyday life, work, and personal relationships. By understanding and utilizing these techniques, we can enhance our ability to positively influence the situations around us, improve our communication, and strengthen our bonds with those around us. Get ready to embark on a journey through the fascinating world of applied psychology, where the science of human behavior opens new doors to effective interaction and genuine connection. So if you are new here, please like the video and subscribe. Statistics show that only 15% of my audience is subscribed to the channel. So if this content has helped you in any way, I ask you to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Now let's begin. Trick 1. The Power of the Name In the world of communication and personal influence, the simple act of using a person's name during a conversation can have a profoundly positive impact. This gesture, although small, is loaded with meaning and power. A name is not just a set of letters, it is the sonic representation of someone's identity, reflecting their history, personality, and in many aspects, their essence. When we call someone by their name, we are doing more than just capturing their attention. We are recognizing their individuality and implicitly expressing our respect and appreciation for them. The use of a person's name creates a direct channel of communication, transforming a generic interaction into a personal and meaningful connection. It's this non-verbal acknowledgement of the other's importance not only strengthens relationships, but also increases the effectiveness of our message. However, for this trick to be truly effective, it is crucial that it be employed with authenticity. Excess or evident manipulation can easily be perceived, leading to feelings of discomfort or mistrust, thus undermining the positive potential of the interaction. The key to effective use of someone's name lies in moderation and the genuine intention to establish a connection. This can be especially impactful at the beginning of a conversation, when asking a direct question, or when thanking, creating moments of personal recognition that reinforce the value of that interaction. Additionally, practicing active listening and showing genuine interest in what the other person is saying complements the use of the name, solidifying the connection and demonstrating respect for their experience and perspectives. This trick, as simple as it may seem, is a powerful tool in the art of positive influence and relationship building, reflecting a deep understanding that at the heart of effective communication is the recognition of the dignity and value of each individual. By consciously using someone's name, we are not only improving our communication skills, we are also practicing a form of respect and empathy that can completely transform the nature of our interactions. Trick 2. The Smile 
It is one of the most powerful and underestimated communication tools we possess. It transcends cultural and linguistic barriers, capable of expressing joy, receptiveness and empathy without the need for words. But we're not talking about just any kind of smile. The focus here is on the genuine smile, the one that involves not just the muscles of the mouth, but also the eyes, creating the well-known crow's feet. This type of smile, often called the Duchenne smile, is universally recognized as a sign of happiness and sincerity. A genuine smile has the power to disarm, create instant connections, and even alter the emotional state of the recipient. It is an external manifestation of positive emotions that, according to studies, can positively influence the mood and disposition of others, promoting an environment of positivity and openness. Moreover, smiling can be contagious, creating a chain of positive reactions that have the potential to improve not just the moment, but someone's entire day. The conscious application of a genuine smile in our daily interactions, whether in personal or professional contexts, is a simple yet profoundly effective strategy for improving the quality of our communications and relationships. It involves more than just smiling for the sake of smiling. It is an act of opening up, being vulnerable, and showing authenticity. When we sincerely smile at someone, we are saying without words that we are happy to see them, that we value their presence, and that we are open to a positive connection. It is important to remember that the smile should be used appropriately to the context and perceived as authentic. A forced or untimely smile can have the opposite effect to the desired one, creating distance instead of closeness. Therefore, it is crucial to be mindful not only of our intention when smiling, but also of the recipient's receptiveness. A genuine smile is a master key in the art of communication, capable of opening doors and building bridges where words alone may fail. It is a reminder that even in the simplest moments, we can have a significant impact on the world around us, promoting an environment of positivity, empathy, and true human connection. By incorporating the genuine smile into our social interaction repertoire, we hold not just a psychological strategy, but a gesture of kindness and humanity that enriches both the giver and the receiver. Trick 3. Mirroring. Known as mirroring, it is a fascinating psychological technique that explores the natural tendency of people to feel more connected and at ease with those who reflect their own behaviors, gestures, or speech patterns. This phenomenon, rooted in our search for familiarity and comfort in social interactions, can be a powerful communication tool when used consciously and subtly. Mirroring works because people are generally attracted to symmetry and similarity. This can lead to an increase in empathy and mutual trust, making communication more effective and relationships stronger. To apply mirroring effectively, it is essential to do so with moderation and in an almost imperceptible manner. The goal is not to copy every movement or word mechanically, but to capture the essence of the other person's behavior so that the imitation seems natural. This can include synchronizing the rhythm of speech, adopting a similar body posture, or reflecting facial expressions. These actions, when carried out with care, can facilitate a deeper connection without the other person consciously perceiving why they feel more understood or close. It is crucial that mirroring be practiced with respect and integrity. The imitation should be based on the intention to create a genuine connection, not as a manipulative strategy. When used sincerely, mirroring not only improves communication, but also reinforces mutual respect and consideration, fundamental elements of any healthy relationship. Mirroring can be especially useful in professional contexts, 
such as in negotiations or team meetings, where building rapport and collaboration are crucial. By subtly reflecting the gestures or tone of voice of a colleague or client, it is possible to create a more harmonious and conducive environment for mutual understanding and shared success. Mirroring is more than a simple psychological trick. It is a communication approach that, when used with consideration and authenticity, has the potential to transform casual interactions into meaningful connections. By practicing mirroring with awareness and respect, we can not only improve our ability to relate to others, but also enrich our social experiences in a profound and lasting way. Trick 4. The Favor Technique A subtle strategy based on the psychological principle of reciprocity, suggesting that asking someone for a favor can paradoxically increase that person's affection for you. This idea was popularized as the Ben Franklin effect, named after the famous incident where Benjamin Franklin borrowed a rare book from a political rival, which resulted in a lasting friendship between them. The underlying principle is that by performing a favor, the person justifies their actions to themselves, believing they like the person they are helping, thus creating a basis for more positive relations. Applying the favor trick in practice requires a delicate approach and consideration of the context. The key is to ask for something small and reasonable, something that does not cause inconvenience, but still requires a conscious effort on the part of the other person. This request not only opens the door to a more meaningful interaction, but also instills a sense of personal investment in the relationship. It is important to note that the success of this technique depends on sincerity and timing. The request must appear genuine and be made at an appropriate time, so as not to seem manipulative or coercive. Additionally, recognizing and adequately thanking the favor performed is crucial to reinforcing the positive perception and reciprocity in the relationship. Asking for a favor is also an opportunity to demonstrate trust in the other person, acknowledging their skills or resources. This can boost the individual's self-esteem and promote a dynamic of cooperation and mutual respect. The favor technique, when employed with care, can be a valuable tool for strengthening bonds, facilitating open communication, and building more united and collaborative communities. However, as with all influence techniques, respect for the other's boundaries and autonomy is essential. The favor technique should be seen as a means of opening dialogues and building relationships based on mutual respect, not as a strategy for gaining advantage or manipulating. When used with integrity, it can be a powerful means of cultivating deeper personal and professional relationships. Trick 5. The Law of Reciprocity the law of reciprocity is a powerful psychological principle that plays a key role in human interactions and social relations. Essentially, it suggests that when someone does something for us, we feel a strong internal need to reciprocate in some way. This desire to balance the accounts can be manifested in various ways, whether through a favor, a gift, or even a simple thank you. This trick explores an innate tendency towards reciprocity, an impulse so fundamental that it can be observed in various cultures around the world. The conscious application of the law of reciprocity in our lives can have a profound impact on how we relate to others. By offering something first, whether a gesture of kindness, valuable information, or a small gift, we create an environment conducive to cooperation and strengthen our social bonds. This not only increases the likelihood of a positive response, but also nurtures a virtuous cycle of giving and receiving, enriching our interactions and communities. It is crucial that the application of this law be guided by genuine generosity and not by expectations of personal gain. The true magic of reciprocity 
occurs when acts of kindness are performed without the anticipation of a reward. When people perceive that a gesture is made with sincerity and without ulterior motives, the response tends to be warmer and more authentic, enhancing the strengthening of relationships. Overly grand gestures may be perceived as attempts at obligation or manipulation, which can cause discomfort or resistance. Similarly, understanding the right moment to offer and how to do so in a way that resonates positively with the other person is crucial to the success of this strategy. Reciprocity does not need to be immediate or directly proportional. The act of giving initiates a chain of generosity that often returns to the giver in unexpected and rewarding ways. Patience and trust in this process are essential, as is the openness to receive. The law of reciprocity is more than a psychological trick. It is a life philosophy that, when practiced with integrity and empathy, has the power to transform our relationships and communities. By engaging in acts of selfless generosity, we not only cultivate richer and deeper relationships, but also contribute to a more cooperative and harmonious world. Trick 6. Scarcity This psychological principle that people tend to value more what is perceived as rare or at risk of becoming inaccessible. This phenomenon, rooted in the fear of losing something valuable, can significantly influence our decisions and behaviors. By applying the concept of scarcity in social interactions or marketing strategies, for example, it is possible to increase the perceived value of a product, service or opportunity, encouraging quicker and more decisive action. Scarcity, when effectively employed, creates a sense of urgency, making offers seem more attractive simply because they are limited. This can be observed in promotions, while stocks last, countdowns to the end of an offer, or the limited availability of an exclusive item. The key to the success of this strategy lies in its authenticity. Fabricated or perceived as manipulative scarcity can lead to distrust and harm credibility. To apply scarcity effectively, it is essential to communicate clearly the value of what is being offered highlighting not just its rarity, but also why it is desirable or beneficial. This can involve focusing on the unique features of a product, the exclusive benefits of an opportunity, or the singular experience being made available. The idea is to make the offer seem not just limited, but also irresistibly valuable. Scarcity can be applied ethically by genuinely limiting offers based on real restrictions, such as time availability, resource quantity, or access to exclusive experiences. This not only validates scarcity as a legitimate factor, but also respects the intelligence and autonomy of the consumer or interlocutor, grounding the interaction in principles of honesty and mutual respect. However, it is crucial to be sensitive to the impact that scarcity can have on people. While it can motivate action, it can also cause anxiety or undue pressure. Therefore, when using scarcity, one must always consider the balance between encouraging informed and conscious decisions and avoiding emotional manipulation. Scarcity is a powerful psychological tool that, when used responsibly and in combination with a genuinely valuable offer, can enrich interactions and transactions, creating a sense of value and urgency that benefits both the provider and the recipient. Trick 7. Validating Emotions This validation occurs when we recognize and accept another person's feelings as legitimate and understandable, regardless of whether we agree with the reasons behind those emotions. By validating others' emotions, we communicate that we value their perspective and experience, creating a safe space for authentic expression and constructive dialogue. Emotional validation plays a crucial role in conflict resolution 
and emotional support, as it demonstrates empathy and understanding. When people feel that their emotions are recognized, they are more likely to feel comfortable sharing deeper thoughts and feelings, thereby facilitating the resolution of misunderstandings and deepening the bond between the involved parties. To effectively validate someone's emotions, it is important to practice active listening, reflecting on what has been said and acknowledging the expressed emotion. Simple phrases like, it seems like that was really frustrating for you, or I can understand why you would feel that way can be extremely powerful. These statements not only show that you are paying attention but also that you care about the other person's emotional well-being. Emotional validation involves avoiding hasty judgments or attempts to immediately correct how someone should feel. The intention is not to solve the problem, but to acknowledge the person's emotional experience. This acknowledgement can be incredibly validating and healing, allowing the person to feel heard and understood which is often the first step in overcoming emotional challenges or resolving conflicts. It is crucial to apply emotional validation with sincerity. Validation that appears forced or inauthentic can have the opposite effect, leading to feelings of isolation or misunderstanding. Therefore, authenticity in emotional communication is essential. Validating another person's emotions is a psychological trick that when used in a genuine and empathetic manner, can transform relationships, promote healthy communication, and support emotional well-being. It is a powerful skill that reflects respect, care, and the ability to connect deeply with others, reinforcing that emotions are a valid and important part of the human experience. Trick 8. Curiosity. Curiosity is a powerful force in human psychology, capable of motivating learning, exploration, and attention. This trick involves awakening someone's interest and curiosity, making communication, information, or the offer much more attractive and engaging. By provoking curiosity, you create an emotional hook that can significantly increase attention, retention, motivation to act, and memory of the presented content. Effective use of curiosity often involves presenting an intriguing question, a surprising fact, or an incomplete story that leaves the listener wanting more. This can be achieved through a variety of techniques, such as using titles or introductions that provoke questioning, presenting challenges that encourage problem-solving, or gradually revealing information that keeps the audience engaged from beginning to end. Awakening curiosity also means playing with the unknown and the unexpected, as people are naturally drawn to mystery and what they do not fully understand, leading them to seek answers and solutions. This trick can be particularly effective in educational and marketing environments where engaging the audience is crucial for the success of transmitting a message or selling a product. It is important to balance the amount of information or the level of mystery presented. Too much uncertainty can lead to frustration or withdrawal, while too little may not be enough to arouse genuine interest. The key lies in finding the sweet spot that captures the audience's imagination, leading them on a journey of discovery that is both satisfying and informative. In feeding curiosity, it is essential to provide a resolution or conclusion that is rewarding. The satisfaction of curiosity should lead to increased knowledge, a deeper understanding, or an enriching experience. This not only rewards the audience for their engagement, but also strengthens the connection between the communicator and the receiver creating a positive memory associated with that interaction. Curiosity is a psychological trick that, when skillfully manipulated, can transform the way information is received and retained. Awakening and satisfying curiosity not only makes learning and communication more effective, 
but also more enjoyable, promoting a deeper and more lasting connection with the content or message presented. Trick 9. The Halo Effect The Halo Effect is a fascinating psychological trick that reveals how our overall impressions of a person can influence our judgments about their specific characteristics. This phenomenon occurs when a single positive quality of a person, such as attractive appearance, charisma or professional success, leads us to attribute other positive qualities to them, such as intelligence, kindness or competence, even without direct evidence. This psychological trick demonstrates the power of first impressions and how they can shape our perception of someone in various dimensions. The halo effect can be consciously utilized to improve the way we are perceived by others, whether in social, professional or academic contexts. Presenting oneself in a polished manner, maintaining a positive attitude and demonstrating competence in one area can lead people to form a more favorable overall view of views. However, it is crucial that this strategy be used with integrity, ensuring that the impression we leave is genuine and truly reflects our skills and intentions. In practice, the halo effect can be observed in various situations, from job interviews to social gatherings. For example, a candidate who presents well and speaks confidently about a topic may be perceived as more qualified for the position, even if other areas of competence have not been directly assessed. Similarly, a person who displays good manners and friendliness in a social situation may be considered more trustworthy and pleasant. It is important to be aware of how the halo effect affects not only the way we see others, but also how we are seen by them. By recognizing this phenomenon, we can take steps to ensure that our first impressions are as positive as possible, while also striving to get to know others more deeply beyond first impressions. However, it is also essential to develop critical awareness to prevent the halo effect from leading us to hasty judgments or superficial evaluations of people. Understanding that a single positive characteristic does not define the entire complexity of an individual is crucial for more fair and balanced interactions. In summary, the halo effect is a powerful psychological trick that underscores the importance of first impressions and how they can influence perception in areas far beyond those originally observed. By using it consciously and ethically, we can improve the way we are perceived while also making an effort to see beyond first impressions in others, seeking a richer and more nuanced understanding of the people around us. You have now reached the halfway mark of the video. I congratulate you for trying to become a better version of yourself, and I also humbly ask you to leave a comment, as it helps my channel immensely. If you do not know what to comment, just write mind over body so I know you reached this far. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Also, I've Trick 10. The Art of Active Listening The art of active listening goes beyond mere hearing, positioning itself as a powerful psychological trick for enhancing relationships, facilitating understanding, and promoting an environment of mutual respect. This technique involves listening attentively with the goal of fully comprehending the speaker's message, reflecting on what has been said and responding in a way that validates the other person's experience. By employing active listening, we demonstrate appreciation not only for the words, but also for the underlying feelings and thoughts expressed by the other person. The practice of active listening involves several key strategies, such as maintaining eye contact, nodding, using facial expressions that indicate understanding and asking relevant questions that show genuine interest in the conversation. These actions convey to the speaker that their message is being received and valued, creating a safe space for open and sincere idea exchange. Moreover, 
repeating or paraphrasing important points can help ensure that the listener has correctly understood the message, while also showing the speaker that they have been heard accurately. Active listening has a profound impact on interpersonal relationships. It can disarm conflicts by allowing all parties to feel heard and understood, and it can strengthen bonds by building a sense of empathy and connection. In the workplace, for example, active listening can improve team dynamics and problem-solving effectiveness, as it facilitates collaboration and mutual understanding. A crucial aspect of active listening is patience and the willingness to postpone one's response or judgment until the speaker has completed their thought. This can be challenging, especially in emotionally charged conversations or when significant differences of opinion exist. However, by prioritizing complete understanding before formulating a response, an atmosphere of respect and consideration is created potentially leading to more creative and mutually satisfying solutions. Beyond improving communication and relationships, active listening also contributes to personal development as it encourages openness to new ideas and perspectives. By actively listening, we can learn more, expand our understanding of the world and others, and adapt our worldview in a more informed and empathetic manner. In summary, the art of active listening is more than a psychological trick. It is a fundamental communication skill that enriches human interaction at all levels. By practicing active listening, we not only enhance our relationships and our ability to understand others, but also promote an environment of respect, understanding and collaboration that benefits everyone. Trick 11 the Law of Contrast. The Law of Contrast is a psychological principle that highlights how we perceive differences between two things, presented one after the other. Essentially, when two items, ideas, or situations are placed side by side, we tend to evaluate the second in direct contrast to the first, which can dramatically amplify the perception of their differences. For example, if you hold one hand in cold water and then place it in room temperature water, the room temperature water will seem noticeably warmer, although its temperature has not changed. In communication, negotiation and marketing, the law of contrast can be used to significantly influence people's perception and decision making. For example, by presenting a higher price before offering the real price of a product, the second price may seem particularly more attractive, even if it might be considered high in isolation. This occurs because our perception of value is not absolute, but relative to what was previously presented. To effectively apply the law of contrast, it is crucial to understand the context and goals of the interaction. In a negotiation, for example, starting with higher demands than expected, can make the subsequent more moderate terms seem more reasonable, facilitating an agreement. In education, starting with a complex concept and then simplifying it can make the simplified concept more easily understood and appreciated. However, it is important to use the law of contrast with ethics and transparency. Deceptively manipulating people's perception can lead to distrust and harm long-term relationships. The key is to offer real value and use contrast to highlight that value in a fair and clear manner. The law of contrast also emphasizes the importance of preparation and presentation in communication. By carefully planning the order in which information, ideas or offers are presented, we can better guide the perception and response of our audience. This not only improves the effectiveness of our communication, but also helps establish a stronger and more positive connection with others, as it facilitates understanding and appreciation of the value we are offering. In summary, the law of contrast is a powerful psychological tool that, when used with consideration and integrity, 
can enrich our ability to communicate, persuade, and influence. By understanding and applying this principle, we can significantly improve the way our messages, products, or services are perceived, leading to more productive interactions and more satisfactory outcomes. Trick 12. The Power of Touch The power of touch explores how subtle physical contact can significantly influence perception and social interaction. This psychological trick is based on the idea that a light and appropriate touch can convey trust, empathy, and establish a deeper connection between people. In the context of human relationships, touch can serve as a powerful form of non-verbal communication capable of expressing support, affection, and understanding without the need for words. Studies have shown that a firm handshake a touch on the arm during a conversation or a warm hug can significantly increase the feeling of trust and cooperation. For example, in a professional environment, a handshake at the beginning and end of a meeting can be not just a polite formality, but also a means of establishing a more solid connection and conveying reliability. However, using touch as an influence tool should be approached with sensitivity and respect for individual and cultural difference. What is considered a friendly gesture in one culture may be interpreted differently in another. Additionally, it is crucial to be aware of each individual's comfort and personal boundaries. A touch that is unwelcome or perceived as invasive can have the opposite effect to the desired one, causing discomfort or withdrawal. To effectively apply the power of touch, it is essential to observe and respond to the other person's non-verbal signals. This may involve starting with more reserved gestures, such as a handshake, and only proceeding to more personal forms of touch if there is clear openness and reciprocity. Furthermore, it is important to consider the context of the interaction Choosing moments when a touch can be seen as a gesture of support or encouragement, such as during a compliment or when expressing gratitude. In summary, when used with consideration and respect, the power of touch can be an incredibly effective tool for strengthening bonds, improving communication, and promoting a sense of connection and trust between people. It is a reminder that, even in an increasingly digital world, Tangible human connections have invaluable worth and can significantly enrich our interactions. Trick 13. The Principle of Authority The principle of authority is a psychological trick based on the natural tendency of people to follow or trust individuals, perceived as authorities in certain areas or subjects. This phenomenon can be attributed to our intrinsic desire for direction and clarity in a complex world, leading us to seek guidance from figures who demonstrate knowledge, competence, or power. When a person is seen as an authority, their opinions, decisions, and recommendations tend to be accepted more readily, regardless of critical evaluation. Effectively applying the principle of authority involves First and foremost, establishing credibility. This can be achieved through the demonstration of specialized knowledge, relevant experience, or even association with other respected authorities. However, it is crucial that this authority is based on authenticity and integrity. Trust, once lost through false statements or deceptive practices, is difficult to recover. In professional contexts, for example, a doctor wearing a lab coat and displaying relevant diplomas in their office is not just following a convention, they are also signaling their authority and competence in the field of medicine, which can increase the patient's trust in their judgment. Similarly, in a business presentation, referring to relevant research or highlighting successful past experiences can reinforce the speaker's perception of authority making the audience more receptive to their ideas. However, it is essential to balance authority with accessibility. 
The most respected authorities are those who, in addition to demonstrating competence, are also seen as empathetic and open to questions and discussions. This not only humanizes the authority figure, but also promotes an environment of learning and mutual growth. Additionally, it is important to be aware of how authority can subconsciously influence behavior and decisions. Blind obedience to authority can lead to judgment errors or unethical actions, as historically demonstrated in famous psychological experiments. Therefore, encouraging critical thinking and healthy questioning of authorities can be as important as establishing one's own authority. In summary, the principle of authority is a powerful tool for influencing and leading. When used ethically and responsibly, it can improve communication, increase trust, and promote cooperation. However, it must be balanced with humility and a willingness to engage in dialogue, ensuring that authority is always in the service of the common good and mutual development. Trick 14. Consistency. Consistency is a psychological trick that relies on our natural tendency to act in a manner consistent with our statements, beliefs, and previous actions. This principle is essential for building a stable and reliable personal identity, but can also be a powerful tool for subtly and effectively influencing others' behavior. The key to the effectiveness of this trick lies in our innate aversion to cognitive dissonance, which is the psychological discomfort experienced when our behaviors are not aligned with our beliefs or past actions. One way to apply the principle of consistency is through initial commitment. When people verbally or in writing commit to an idea or goal, they are more likely to take subsequent actions that are in line with that initial commitment, even if there is a personal cost associated. This is because consistency between our beliefs and actions is often seen as a positive character trait, leading people to strive to maintain an image of integrity and reliability. In the context of sales, for example, this might mean persuading a customer to first agree on the importance of certain product features and then presenting that product as the solution that best aligns with those features. In social or work contexts, asking for small favors or initial commitments can set a precedent for more significant cooperations in the future. For the principle of consistency to be employed ethically and effectively, it is crucial that the initial commitment is made freely and without pressure. Additionally, it is important that the actions or beliefs one wishes to promote are indeed aligned with the other person's interests and values. This not only increases the likelihood of adherence, but also helps build relationships based on mutual respect and understanding. Consistency also plays an important role in personal development. Setting clear goals and making our commitments public can significantly increase our motivation to achieve them as we seek to maintain consistency with our previous statements. This shows how the principle of consistency can be a positive force, not only for influencing others, but also for promoting growth and personal achievement. In summary, consistency is a powerful psychological principle that can be used to influence behaviors and decisions in a subtle but significant way. When applied with consideration and respect for the values and autonomy of others, it can be a valuable tool for building trustworthy relationships and for encouraging actions that benefit both the individual and the community. Trick 15. Social proof. Social proof is a psychological trick based on the influence that collective behavior has on individual decisions. This principle suggests that people tend to look to the actions and choices of others to determine what is correct or desirable in a given situation, especially in moments of uncertainty. Social proof is powerful because it relies on the assumption 
that collective wisdom can provide reliable guidance. This phenomenon can be observed in a wide range of contexts, from choosing a restaurant based on its online reviews to the decision to buy a product that has many positive reviews. Essentially, when we see that other people have made a choice or adopted a behavior, we are more inclined to follow suit, assuming that this choice is valid or beneficial. To effectively apply social proof, it's important to highlight popular choices, testimonials, or approvals from groups relevant to the individual or audience in question. This can be done through customer reviews, endorsements from influencers, statistics showing the popularity of an option, or even success stories of people the audience may consider similar or aspirational. In marketing and advertising, social proof is often used to increase trust in a product or service, showing that many other people are already enjoying its benefits. On social media, likes, comments and shares serve as visible indicators of social approval, encouraging others to interact in a similar manner. However, it's crucial that social proof is genuine and honest. Attempts to fabricate social proof, such as through fake reviews or undisclosed paid endorsements, can harm credibility and trust in the long term. Additionally, it's important to recognize that social proof has limits and should not be used to encourage harmful or unethical behaviors. Beyond its use in marketing and sales, social proof can also be a positive force for promoting beneficial behaviors in social and environmental contexts. For example, highlighting the popularity of sustainable practices or the growing number of people adopting a healthy lifestyle can encourage others to do the same. In summary, social proof is a psychological principle deeply rooted in the human desire for belonging and trust in collective wisdom. When used ethically and responsibly, it can be a valuable tool for positively influencing individual choices and behaviors, promoting both commercial success and collective well-being. Trick 16. Emotional Contrast Emotional contrast is a psychological technique that involves taking someone on an emotional journey from moments of difficulty or tension to positive resolution or relief. This trick is based on the principle that experiences are intensified and become more memorable when preceded by contrasting emotions. For example, the feeling of relief and happiness is amplified after a period of anxiety or fear, creating a more striking and lasting emotional experience. Applying emotional contrast effectively can be a powerful tool in storytelling, marketing, education, and even everyday conversations. By starting with a problem or challenge, followed by the presentation of a solution or happy ending, you not only capture the audience's attention, but also create a stronger emotional bond. This emotional journey can make the message more persuasive, increase information retention, and encourage action. In narrative contexts, for example, stories involving conflicts followed by resolution tend to be more engaging and satisfying. In advertising, presenting a common problem, such as pain or difficulty, followed by the introduction of a product or service as the perfect solution, can motivate consumers to act, driven by the desire to experience the promised positive transformation. However, it is essential that the use of emotional contrast is done with sensitivity and authenticity. Excessive manipulation of emotions can be perceived as insincere or exploitative, negatively affecting the public's perception of the message or the messenger. Additionally, it's important to ensure that the resolution offered is realistic and achievable, providing a genuine sense of hope and optimism. Beyond its application in communication and marketing, Emotional contrast also has significant implications for personal growth and facing challenges. The awareness that difficult moments can be followed by growth and positive resolution can offer comfort during periods of adversity, encouraging resilience 
and a more optimistic outlook in the face of difficulties. In summary, emotional contrast is a valuable psychological tool that, when used ethically and thoughtfully, can enrich communication, strengthen messages, and promote a deep emotional connection. By guiding people through an emotional journey of highs and lows, it's possible not only to capture their attention, but also to leave a lasting impression, motivating reflection, learning, and action. Trick 17. Uniqueness. Uniqueness is a psychological trick that focuses on the importance of making someone feel unique or special in a particular context. This principle suggests that people are more likely to engage, participate, or invest in a situation when they perceive that their participation is distinctively valuable and that they offer something no one else can. Essentially, appealing to a person's sense of uniqueness can strengthen the connection and motivation as it validates their individuality and specific contributions. Implementing the uniqueness strategy involves recognizing and celebrating the unique characteristics, talents, or perspectives that people bring to the table. This can be as simple as personalizing a message or offer to reflect an individual's interests, or as complex as creating opportunities or experiences that are tailored to the unique qualities of a group or individual. In marketing, for example, Campaigns that use personalization to tailor messages and offers to consumer behavior and preferences can result in a more positive response as consumers feel valued and understood as individuals. Similarly, in the workplace, recognizing and utilizing the unique strengths of each team member can not only increase work efficacy and satisfaction, but also promote a sense of belonging and appreciation However, it's crucial that any effort to highlight uniqueness is genuine and based on an authentic understanding of individual qualities. Superficial attempts at personalization or generic compliments can be easily perceived as insincere, undermining the strategy's effectiveness and possibly negatively affecting the relationship. Additionally, while the principle of uniqueness can be a powerful tool for strengthening connections and motivation, it's also important to balance this approach with the recognition of community and interdependence. Celebrating uniqueness does not mean ignoring the value of collaboration and collective contribution. On the contrary, recognizing the uniqueness of each individual can enrich the fabric of the community as a whole. In summary, appealing to uniqueness is a psychological approach that, when applied with care and authenticity, can significantly improve engagement, satisfaction, and loyalty. By valuing people as unique individuals and recognizing their specific contributions, it's possible to create an atmosphere of respect and appreciation that benefits all involved. Trick 18 Anticipation Anticipation is a psychological trick that explores the exciting expectation of something about to happen, increasing interest and involvement through the promise of future rewards or experiences. This principle is based on the idea that the anticipation of an event can be as thrilling, or even more so, than the event itself. Anticipation creates suspense that keeps people engaged and interested, eager for what's to come. Using anticipation effectively involves building a sense of expectation and curiosity, setting the stage for something big, exciting, or revealing. This can be achieved through teasers, previews, countdowns, or announcements that give hints without fully revealing what's to come. In marketing, for example, Product launch campaigns that use these techniques can generate buzz and anticipation, encouraging the audience to stay tuned and engaged. In narrative contexts, anticipation can be used to build tension in a story, keeping the audience on the edge of their seats, eager for the climax. In education, 
introducing a topic with an intriguing question or challenge can increase student interest, motivating them to delve deeper to discover the answers. For anticipation to be effective, it's crucial to balance the amount of information revealed. Revealing too much can diminish interest, while revealing too little can confuse or frustrate the audience. The secret is to maintain a balance that keeps people curious and eager, but also confident that the wait will be worth it. Additionally, it's important to fulfill the promises made during the anticipation phase. Expectation raises hope, and if the final result does not match the hype, it can lead to disappointment and loss of trust. Therefore, ensuring that the final experience or product is satisfactory and valuable is essential to maintain credibility and audience satisfaction. Anticipation can also have a positive impact on emotional well-being, as the expectation of positive events can increase happiness and satisfaction. This makes anticipation not just a tool for engagement and marketing, but also a valuable component in creating enriching life experiences. In summary, anticipation is a powerful psychological trick that, when used strategically and responsibly, can amplify interest, emotion and satisfaction. By cultivating expectation and delivering rewarding experiences, it's possible to create memorable moments and build deeper, more meaningful relationships with the audience. Exploring the vast array of psychological tricks available, from the power of naming to the magic of anticipation, it becomes clear how a deep understanding of human psychology can transform our interactions and relationships. Each technique, grounded in solid psychological principles, offers us a window into the human mind, revealing ways in which we can positively influence both ourselves and those around us. When these strategies are applied ethically and thoughtfully, they have the potential not only to improve communication and strengthen bonds, but also to foster environments of greater empathy and mutual understanding. It's important, however, to always maintain integrity and respect for others, using these tricks in a way that promotes collective well-being rather than for unfair manipulation or personal gain. The knowledge and application of these psychological techniques open pathways to more effective communication, deeper relationships, and a richer understanding of human nature. By arming ourselves with these tools, we are able to navigate the social world with greater ease, create more significant connections, and positively influence the situations we encounter. In conclusion, the psychological tricks discussed in this guide are testimonials to the power of applied psychology. They remind us of the importance of approaching every interaction with empathy, awareness, and a genuine desire to contribute positively to the lives of those we interact with. As we continue to explore and apply these principles in our daily lives, we open doors to a world of unlimited possibilities for connection, growth, and mutual understanding. Now, if any part of this message has been helpful to you, leave us your like and comment helping the algorithm recommend it to someone who needs it at this time. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss new videos. And if you look through the videos we've already uploaded, you're sure to find something to take with you. Have a good day.